On this episode of DH Prepping, we talk about taming wild cottontail rabbits for our homestead. This is Desert Homestead Prepping. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this is my daughter, Abby. Hi. And uh, we thought that we would talk about the rabbits that we have. So when it comes to uh, prepping and uh, creating a homestead out at the property, we've thought of you know different things that would go into that. And uh, one of those things was being able to have rabbits. And so while we've been out there, we've seen all kinds of fun wildlife out there. What are some of the, the fun little creatures that you've had fun out there catching? Lizards. Yes, lots of lizards. Uh, lizards are all over the place. Um, what are some of the other slithery things that we've seen out there? Snakes. Yep, we've seen lots of snakes. We haven't seen a rattlesnake out there yet. We've seen plenty of blow snakes, which are, which are good. They keep the mice population down and they keep the rattlesnakes away. And of course, we've also seen lots of rabbits. lots of rabbits. So throughout the deserts of our area, we have what are called cottontail rabbits. Um, it's also a, a desert hare. And uh, while we were out there, you came up with the idea to what? To get bunny traps. Right. See if we could get some traps, get some live traps, and catch one of these cottontail rabbits. And so we did. We went and bought some live traps, and, uh, and we put them out. And we put them out for a while, and we didn't catch anything, did we? No. But eventually, we finally did catch a cottontail rabbit. And it was very exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. We got these because, not just because we wanted to have fun pets, but wanted to see if we could catch a wild rabbit and, and have it actually become domesticated enough to where we could breed cottontail rabbits for another food source. We also have cottontail rabbits because they're fun they're they're cuddly and cute and so after we caught the rabbit we had to get ourselves you know a larger um, nicer enclosure for the rabbit to make sure that it was comfortable and warm in the winter and so we went and got this awesome um, rabbit cage what do you think of the rabbit cage it is very nice. And so the cottontail rabbit is actually still pretty wild. It's not too fond of hanging out with us. <laughs> but it's done pretty good. It, it actually lets us touch it and pet it. It won't let us pick it up. But uh, um, it's done really good at, at, at being able to uh, adapt to being into captivity, um, probably because it's very happy to be well fed, have plenty of water. Um, we have lots of straw in there so that it has a nice, comfortable, um, warm home to be in. So we had the wild cottontail rabbit for a while by itself. And then what did we decide to get? A uh, tamed rabbit. Yep we decided to get a tamed rabbit, a domesticated rabbit. And, uh, you know, we were concerned to see how it was gonna go to put a wild cottontail rabbit together with a domesticated rabbit. And how did it go at first? Mm, the, 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 the wild rabbit, the tame rabbit was chasing the other rabbit. Yeah, yeah, it was really weird because we we expected that the wild rabbit might not accept 
the domesticated rabbit and that it, it might attack it and hurt it. It actually was the opposite way. The domesticated rabbit was the aggressor and was chasing around the cottontail rabbit. And so we were, we were very careful to kind of give them some time together. And then I'd, I'd come and get the domesticated rabbit and we'd put it in the house overnight. And then we'd put it back in the cage so that we could watch it. And after a couple of days, they warmed up to each other. And now they're, they're great friends. They, they're always together. They'll kind of hop around together and, and play. And they cuddle together in their home in the night. And so we're, we're pretty happy that they have actually grown close to each other. So what are the names of your rabbits? Chip and Delilah. Chips and Delilah. So Chips is the cottontail rabbit and Delilah is the domesticated rabbit. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, and, and we try to have some, some fun things that we're doing out there on the property. Um, you know, being able to catch rabbits is fun, but it also is teaching my kids how to understand the wildlife and you know, the different creatures and how things are in the climate that we're preparing a homestead. Let's, let's grab Delilah. So this is Delilah. She is very cute and cuddly. Um, she's about the same size as the cottontail rabbit. <laughs> we'll see if we can get the cottontail rabbit to kind of run down. There we go. So there's the cottontail rabbit down here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a fun learning experience to understand how these rabbits are. And, uh, you know, Abby likes having pets, and of course the, the boys enjoy having the rabbits around, and, and so they're a lot of fun. But they also are a lot of work, aren't they? What do you got to do every day? Feed them. Yep. Give them water. Make sure they got water. And sometimes you clean up the beach. Yep. Yeah. You know, regularly, we have to actually clean up all the poop and the mess. That's the other cool thing about rabbits is that they're, the little rabbit poops are perfect for fertilizer. And they do not have to break down in order to be used on your garden. And so, you know, kind of over here, we got a small garden. And our neighbor has a large garden uh, here in town. And, you know, when we clean out the rabbit cage, it's cool. It's got these trays on the bottom where all you have to do is slide it out and you just take it over to the garden and just dump it in the garden. And there you go. you got usable fertilizer. <laughs> yeah. So that's the other good thing about having um, rabbits and breeding rabbits. Not only can it be a food source, um, they're cute and cuddly and fun, but also their, their, their feces is perfect for fertilizer. And so, you know, while we're out at the property, yeah, we're trying to do work, but we're also trying to do some fun things. You know, the kids like to be able to do fun things and play games and ride the four-wheelers ride the snowmobiles and catch whatever creatures are out there you know like we do the lizards we'll catch the lizards kind of have fun checking them out for a couple days and then what do we have to do let them go. we let them go because we're we're not out there to try to torment the creatures you know sure we can have some fun for a little bit and check them out but you know we're going to let them go because it's it's not right unless you know we're going to make sure that they're comfortable 
and they're in a happy place. So what are what are we hoping is going to happen with these two rabbits? Get married. <laughs> Get married. Close. Maybe they might have babies. Oh yeah. Babies. So we're we're curious to see how far this goes because you know we haven't been able to pick up a wild rabbit to know for sure if it's a male or a female, but it, we are curious to find out if the cottontail will breed with a domesticated rabbit and how far this will go. So we're we're having some fun with it and uh, you know. Hopefully at the same time, we're gonna be able to create a comfortable home for these rabbits and uh, so that they can actually in enjoy, you know, having plenty of food and a warm place to go. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning back in. Um, you know, later on, we'll try to go over some other fun things that, you know, we're doing with the kids out there at the property. and. Uh, you know, keep you up to speed with with all kinds of different projects and things that we have planned out. All right, you guys take care. Bye. <laughs>